Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. And today here at Miller Ranch Homeschool, we have an exciting uh, Walmart haul. Uh, by the way, I have been visited by some sort of intruder on my face, um, but because I'm not wearing makeup these days, you're just gonna have to deal with it. I have no good angles that will hide it. Uh, and so we're just gonna go with it. Um, I decided not to use my ring light today. It was too much to do these hauls. I just couldn't figure out the configuration and the table that I'm working with is actually like a small little rolling desk. So, alas, here we are. Um, but I had a phenomenal morning and I got some really good deals. So I hope you will enjoy. Um, like always, if you enjoy this video and you want them to keep going, definitely give us a big like and um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, let's get in it. Okay, so the first things first is this dry erase marker set by Pen in Gear. Uh, I really like that it said women owned. I don't know what that means, um, but I went for it. Plus, uh, it was only $5 and Expos were more. This is good um, for different colors. Not yet. Okay, so this is our pastel highlighters. Um, let's see how many it came with. Came with 16. Um, I love these. Now, I had kind of teased in our last video that I am going to be doing some new budget stuff with um the budget mom um uh, not collab because i'm not that big of a deal but um with her products and i'm going to share it uh so anyway i needed a multitude of different um highlighters for that because i got these lunch notes y'all might think i'm crazy but even though she is still homeschooled i still want her to have like cute stuff with her lunch and I'm toying with the idea of um, packing her lunch already so it's just one less thing on my plate um I don't know comment below if you think that that's a smart idea or stupid okay and I'll think about it okay so this is super cute might be thinking but Nicole that's not school supplies but it is because it's a slap bracelet ruler now let's be real will this ever ever be used to measure stuff probably not however what will be cool and i just thought about this is we will probably be using this for our nature walks uh and i got two of them but she already grabbed one um and was like bye girl bye um but these will probably be good to measure um to start measuring um things that we find on our nature walks uh and she can just roll it up on her wrist so that was a fine it was a dollar boom okay something i have heard about and finally found were the colors of the world crayons by crayola i am obsessed with this at this point we can now um have skin tones that aren't just peach and i appreciate that and i love the diversity uh we definitely believe in showing see there i focused it for y'all sorry about that um but we love to show Gracie, um, diversity and love for everyone, no matter of the color of their skin. And, um, so it was cool to have that. Okay. Got one and two of these. They're only $2 a piece. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're back. Um, yes, Gracie, go. Um, okay, so I just got this pack of paint, um, which I will tell you, I like these pots because she can just paint right out of them. Uh, I saw a really cool tutorial where, uh, not even tutorial, I just watched this lady's video and she actually just turned the lid upside down and then used that kind of as a paint pot. I have bought, um these before and they worked really well for us and to compensate or to add to this they have paints now at our local Dollar Tree so I will be uh, getting more if needed uh, I'm not going to be getting anything anytime soon because mr. Miller is going to lose his mind with the amount of money that I have spent on school supplies uh, post-it notes for me I don't know why. Um, then I finally got thin markers 
Um, I should have bought two of these, but I only got one. These annoy the crap out of me, but um, I just felt like there needed to be a variety for G in case she needed to use a thin marker. Um, I don't know. Okay, so to break strides in our um, in our um, Crayola montage, I uh, bought these crazy art, uh, these were two for a dollar, so 50 cents a piece, and these are going to be used in her play, like her craft, uh, like utility cart where she can kind of pull from at her leisure. Oh, I did get two of these. Uh, anyway, uh, so I will be using those, that's what I meant, I did get two of those because those were, I think, two for a dollar as well. Um, also, to add, I did get this big 50 super tip washable marker. These will be used in school. This is kind of a medium size, which I thought was really cool. It's not the big, it's not the small, it's the in between. And it came with 12 scented, um, which I don't really care about, but she's six, she'll love it. Okay, so this next thing is just a magnetic eraser that she can keep at her desk. Okay, Gracie. Yes. I got her a Nutella uh, with breadsticks and she's just like chomping at the bit to get it. Anyway, okay, so this is the magnetic eraser. This is something she'll keep at her desk. Um, and y'all, I found the primary journals. Um, I love these. Uh, I bought four of them because we will use them throughout the school year. Um, and, um, they're always super, um, I like the fact now, if you're not familiar with these, these are the ones that have the, the journal at the bottom, but then they can still, um, illustrate at the top. And I like that component because, um, you know, not every kid thrives to write a paper. And this is upside down. So I did get this, the sheet protectors uh, by Pen and Gear again. Uh, what was interesting about these, so you might be thinking, but they have them at the Dollar Tree. Yes, I get it. And I have purchased them, but they're 16 per pack for a dollar. And they're kind of a crappier um, uh, quality. These were $6.97 for 100 so I would have had to buy seven to get 100 anyway. So it was a better deal, better quality. I'm digging it. Okay, here we go. So I got two of these. I purchased two of these, and these are 97 cents. These are about, I don't know if you can see, you know, I have a decent sized hand too. Um, but I bought two of these. I have no idea what I'm going to use them for, but they were um, two bucks and you can't, they kind of go inside each other. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going to use them, but I know I needed them, right? Don't we have to have everything? Okay. The next thing, super duper cute, um, were pointers and they, um, we can see my protein shake. Yum. Anyway, these were pointers and they were a dollar. And I thought, man, those are so cute. And so we will be using those um, on our big board. And probably uh, in the morning as we work on our uh, weekly Bible verses. Okay. So next thing is I got this uh, dry erase um banner i'm not going to use it for that i'm actually going to use them because it was three dollars a pack i purchased two of them should have bought three but oh well i'm going to use this for our sign that says miller ranch homeschool hopefully i will get a third pack um then i also got this classroom decor and i am going to put reed on it in our um the letters that I purchased from Lakeshore. I never did a Lakeshore haul. I should have. Um, but on, on to the next. Oh, this is just the second one that I told you about. Um, oh, okay. This one's kind of cool. Um, I don't necessarily know if I need this one. However, comma, I just thought, man, this is a cute idea. 
So it is a globe with, I can put the actual date, I can change it every day. Um, our calendar for our classroom is the traditional hang on the wall calendar. So I just feel like this is going to be another way that she can see the date. Um, that's, uh, I'll probably, I got this awesome one and a half inch binder for myself. I liked it because it did have uh, the top sheet so I can put the cover of the binder and it did have um, the side right here so I can put the binder um, so I can know what it is. I can organize it. Uh, we're coming to the end. Sorry guys for this crappy video. Uh, videoing technique. I'm just still learning. Um, this was a really good deal. I got this neon copy paper for $6.97, I believe, for 250 sheets. I priced it with the Astro Bright, and it was, uh, so it's, this is $6.97 for 250 sheets. The Astro Bright was $3.97, and it was 120 sheets. Or 100 it might have even been 125 but I knew 397 times 2 was going to be more than 697 so I just went ahead and bought it those are our colors uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for but it'll be fun uh, okay and then I found manila paper I love manila paper this was a dollar so I, I purchased five of those um, just for now y'all remember I'm buying a bigger um, quantity because I am buying for the school year. I hope to not have to buy big things like this. And then lastly, I bought this crate. It's kind of a burgundy crate, but it kind of went with our plum stuff. Um, but these are genius um, to hold your hanging file folders. I have filing cabinets. However, once I start practicing, um, uh, for my masters, I will have to keep client folders in client documents in there because it's a locked cabinet. So this will be just an awesome way to um, to keep our file folders. I have another one. It's been genius um, because it has this lip, and this lip is where the file folders will actually hang at. So I'm starting to get organized. Uh, if you can see my my, it's chaos. Everything is chaos. But now that I have everything purchased, I think it'll be good. Oh my gosh, guys. This video was such a crap shoot. I feel like there's a lot of start and stop. I'm going to take a sip of this. Cheers to you. Mm. Mercy, that was a good sip. Um, I, I don't know. I do you ever feel like you're you have in your head what you want to get accomplished you get all the stuff and it's like okay now now let's get busy <laughs> and so it will be a lot of days of organizing I'll probably take you through some of it um, I did organize one thing yesterday and I was proud I did organize some of my desk um, the innards not the outers the outers it's too scary to even show y'all. I know we're friends, but it's too scary. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this content was good for you. I hope that you liked it enough that you want to come back for a little bit more. Uh, my Nutella queen is coming to send a message to all of y'all. Hi. Uh, uh, you got my own glasses. Yes, we can't find her new glasses. Oh, Nutella. Is that your favorite? Okay. Say bye. bye. Can you say peace, love, and homeschool? Peace, love, and homeschool. Yep, there we go. Raising a little hippie without, like, all the bad stuff that hippies do. Anyway, have a great day, and I hope it's full of love and joy. Bye.